And then after all that, she almost got stuck on the far side of the bridge. That's right, frustrated sigh, that's correct, yeah. So this is her on the other side of the bridge after exactly. her kind of crappy bridge collapsed and she's stuck over there right now. Exactly. Okay, she's looking down. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Running through options, like can't do yeah. this, can't do that. But then these things. Okay. okay. Barrels. Okay. Okay. okay, got an idea. Cool oil oil barrels. Yep. Kind of kind of just the exactly right things that she needs. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Whoa. So really cool idea, I thought, where she supports the barrel, supports this long metal piece with these barrels so they can roll. And then she can use the cantilever-ness of the long piece to, so it can fly across the gap and land in place. Question yep. is, would it have worked? Uh, maybe, I think so. Maybe. Well, first off here, this barrel is gonna roll forward. Is she leaving yep. enough free zone here? Oh, good point. She's going to run into that. Yeah, I guess you would have to calculate that out, maybe do some tests to figure out how far the barrels are going to roll. Because it is yeah. really required that the last barrel is right at your optimal point as it falls away. Optimal, optimal point being at the very end of the platform. I think it's at the, the pivot point. If you go to the end of the platform, you're going to get this. You're going to get rotation down, mm. I think. And this is it landing. So I think you want the the last barrel to fall away when it's right here. Agreed. Okay. Sorry, sorry. End of the platform, I mean where she's standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I really wanted to do some physics calculations about this, but ultimately I think it came down to comparing the lengths of the different segments that we were trying to solve. So like okay. the red here, let's look down here. This is the bridge. This is a cool way to do this. So this is the gap here. And the approximate yeah. size of the gap is this red line. Okay. And the approximate size of the metal plate is this blue line. And then the approximate size of the amount of sandbags is this line. Yep, I like so that. So I overlaid them on top of each other here. Tighten it up, yeah. And there's this overlap zone. I think okay. th this will become easier to do when this overlap zone is as small as possible or non-existent. Oh. Because if you have, if you have the if you put all of the sandbags way over here and your fulcrum is right here, mm -hmm. well then you can just roll the plate, roll the plate all the way over and just place it down, get rid of the barrel and off you go. Ah, uh, because the sandbags are the counterbalance. Right. And if the and counterbalance if, is extending past the fulcrum, past the last barrel, they actually are contributing to tipping down. And then you like you miss the platform on the right side, the, yeah. the metal, plate goes into the water that's right so i think first off her configuration here sandbags they need to be piled more over here I to tight to tighten up to make to make the fulcrum wherever it is in here somewhere in here mm -hmm. um, as close as as far over here as possible I see and if she does it right she should just be able to roll it and place it down now that may not be possible given the weights but oh, it's you mean as opposed to this heavy like slam, like you just just tip it down gently. Right, that's right. But if that's impossible, she might need to get as far as she can go, and then give it a big running start, and then like launch, and then launch. But there is some details about okay, what's the angle of the plate? Because if if you go past the fulcrum, it's going to start to tip down, and then you might get into the water. So you might want to start the configuration up. So that when it leaves the barrels, it's it's rotating down as it lands. Lots to consider, but I don't. I think the starting place is getting these sandbags optimized. This is this is no stack good. Stack them up, stack them up tight, and at the left side. Left side. Uh, yeah. And if it's hard to stack, I bet you could find some containers over here, so you could really get to the edge and stack them vertically. Hey. And I think she has space to do tests, like test configurations, like where is mm -hmm. my fulcrum. Mm -hmm. Once she gets a cantilever going, it's going to be really easy to move the thing around. 
she did this on the first try. <laughs> she did it on the first try. She was successful, but having worked, yeah, yeah. I didn't. There was a there was a high chance that she misses and it goes clanging into the water. So, I mean, something I just I, thought now. What does that mean that the central spiral, the central staircase, is the only staircase between platforms? Is there not an option she could have just walked around on the outside? So you're saying, okay, so there's the central staircase with the spiral staircase. Yeah. yeah. But that's a weak point in the silo if that's the only way up and down. Wouldn't yeah, if you there's want... like a fire, that's the only way people can go between floors. Like that's going to be a massive traffic jam. Wouldn't you want to have additional staircases on the outside? Maybe See, not as find... big, but like have options, right? Mm -hmm. Can we find a good picture of the silo? Let's see here. Gosh, we don't have a good picture of the silo. But what you're saying is, okay, in this picture, in order to get from this level, mm -hmm. in order to get from this level to up and down, you got to go across this. Now that this is broken, there's no way. That's right. But maybe on the outside, there's no stairs yeah. up. Right. Have some okay. redundancy, just e or even just in terms of like traffic management, give people options. Give people options, yeah. If there's a fire, give people options. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm like well, well, in on the outside, like oh, I got to go to the traffic in the middle and go up and down. Whereas if I oh, there's a staircase right outside, I can go up. Yeah, like the place I need to get to is right above me. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> and then because you're on the outer side, you could have multiple staircases because right. you have a larger diet, larger circumference to work with. And they don't need to be big. Maybe one or two people at a time. Your real small staircases. That's yep. kind of this is a weird design. So, and Juliet would know if there's staircases on the outside yeah. as well as on the inside. Since so she, that, she acts like there's no staircases on the outside, so there must not be. What a weird design. What? That, or maybe she got super fixated and she like couldn't think outside the box. The box being, I need to build a bridge. Man, that's so maybe. fixated. So fixated, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try to build a bridge three times instead of just like walk around. There's, ex there's outside staircases. Yeah, no way. No, I don't know. I don't that's know. so. That's just. That's so fixated. <laughs> Considering the energy investment to make the bridge, true, is She's high. Running out of water, running out of food, and the the energy investment to look for the additional staircases is a quick walk. Yeah, I guess that. Okay, I I I believe there's only the central staircase. It's got to be the only. Th that's got to be the only way. Weird, but that's got to be the only way. That means that whoever designed the silos back back when, they're like, should we get extra staircases? He's like, no, <laughs> like, no. We sh we'll plan this underground furnace and power plants and social. I don't know. I guess maybe not. Maybe not social structure, but they engineered this thing a lot. But then yeah, didn't do staircases. And they didn't put staircases. Even like even like an emergency ladder. <laughs> yeah, you know, there was no fire marshal on duty when they designed that. Because she could either go up or down at this point. Yeah, sure, right. So yeah. if she goes down, she can get back up. So, gosh. Yeah, I guess if she had more rope, she could have tied rope to the railings and then gone down. That's or right. Even heck, yeah. Jump in the water and then, yeah, swim to the staircase again. Yeah. Silo design is uh, a little weird. Quirky, darky stuff. Okay, cool. And that's it for our season two, episode one analysis frustration for days yeah but the cool thing i guess is is you see her true up like you see her fail several times and then eventually overcome so try try try, try, try. better than not doing anything true all right see you, see next you time. guys next time